Howdy folks, this is Manny. Mark, your real fake outsider artist, coming to you from the bunker system located underneath the art villa, found somewhere in the jungles of the Midwest. Yeah, 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 you know all about that. Well, uh, no wackiness today. Um, uh, just, yeah. Here's another one of those things. This is a new thing, and uh, as usually when I do a new thing, I'm more just coherent than usual because I haven't thought through the process yet. Basically, when I make a video, I'm in the process of doing whatever it is you see me doing. Like, if it's a painting, it's not like it sat there for a week. It's a thought process. It's the tail. The video is the tail end of a thought process or, or in the middle of a thought process, as, as the case may be yesterday where I was doing the drawing and making the video at the same time. So, uh, uh, after a while, you know, there are certain things that I can do that are, you know, I know what's going on, and that, I, and again, I get off track. So uh, today, this is the first of a, of a new series of videos I'm going to be making um, that have to do with, of course, my paintings because that's what this is all about, and um, and creating an archive of, of of the paintings. Well, you know, I have a website, and I'm very meticulous about taking good photographs and putting the photographs on the website with the video that kind of, you know, supports the painting. Um, and and that's fine. And this, then, of course, there's the archive on YouTube, but all of this stuff can change or go away at any, any, any moment. Uh, so I found this website, which some of you may or may not be using, I have no idea, uh, called the Fine Arts Registry. And... Um, you know, people are always saying you ought to do, do this website or that website, and uh, I, I'm on three other three other websites, and you know, you never hear anything from people. So this is the same thing with this site. I haven't used it yet. I signed up for it, but I haven't used it. You can go there and buy art from you know the community of artists that participate, and I'm, I you know I don't hold much hope for that. Um, but what's interesting about the concept is that you pay well there's a subscription fee basically like subscribing to a magazine you send them 10 bucks a year they allow you access to the site and then on top of that you can purchase these holographic stickers from them and the stickers have a a, a, a number unique number and you put the sticker on your uh, artwork and you upload images of the artwork um, connected to the number that's on the sticker, which I, have, I haven't done any of this yet, <laughs> all right? So I'm going through the process. Uh, the, fr the front of the image and the back of the image, which shows where the sticker is, basically. This is, I'm going from the information I've got off, off their um, uh, promotion material. And what you have then is as a record. Now, I, I think it's you could still alter the record of the painting while um, you have control of it. But what's, what I find really interesting about this, this concept is that once you sell the piece, you transfer ownership of this this number to whoever uh, purchases the piece, okay? So that then they have control. They, and so anyway, they freeze your record of the piece at that point, and transfer ownership, and then the, the, the new owner, and I don't know how this works, I don't know if they have to sign up or what the deal is, but they have control of the number, and I guess then they can go in and transfer it again, or you know, create this lineage, this history, this provenance, if you will, of your artwork. And so, why does all this appeal to me? Well, <clears throat> it appeals to me because you know I've talked in the past about um, uh, when is a piece finished, you know, and you've heard me say I have artwork that I've done a long time ago that I like, and it's finished. And I'm not going to change it. Well, I I can say that, and I can show you a piece like that, but do I mean it? Well. Yes, I mean it, and this is a way to show how that I that I mean what I say, and that you know, in my head, a piece is finished. Well, sometimes you do a piece, somebody commissions you to do a piece, I do a piece or something, and it's just out the door, you know. So there's some good stuff floating around out there, and there's some stuff that I give a free upgrade to. If you want to bring it back, you might be work on it, um, because it's just you know creating artwork for me. It's just an emotional, wacky process. I've always done all my artwork, even when I did like commercial artwork, it was always emotional. That's why I could never survive in that kind of a community, because it, I wasn't a robot, you know? I just didn't do artwork based on just this kind of intellectual driven 
person. I wasn't, I wasn't like that. I was just like, you know, I had to do what was in my head at the time. And, and you know, if I'm working on trying to understand a client, you know, and it really wore me out. Whereas if I do stuff that's in my head at the time, it's, it's, it's just how you work best. For whatever, you know, whatever comes out of it, this is, this is what the deal is right here. Okay, so here's a piece, so the deal is, I'm going to make this series of videos that have to do with a piece that I think is finished. I'm going to apply a number to it, I'm going to upload the image to the website and, you know, create this portfolio, I guess, if you will, of pieces that will um, probably be for sale. Well, some of them I just I like and I keep a hold of them and I don't, I've never offered, like this one I've never put on YouTube. I did this one in 2002, um, so it's get some age on it, and it's been hanging in my house um, all this time. Um, but it's finished. See, the point is, is it's finished, and and there's I don't there's nothing in it that I change. Even though since then my the way I render, you know, certain characters has has changed a little bit. You know, um, I, I've changed. How my approach to painting just a little bit. There's like more line work. Um, some of the facial features have changed. So there's a certain certain things have changed. So basically all I did today is I gave it a fresh coat of uh, polyurethane, seal it all up, apply the sticker. I didn't change the thing on the back, how I signed it. Um, and I'll, if you go to my website you can see how I signed it, but it's the angel and it's my real name's on the back and uh, it's I left it how I signed it in 2002. Now, while I'm talking about it, I might as well talk about what, what the hell I've done. Um, what is this? What is this? i got to get to what this is. This is about business, about me being angry, about having to make money, about working in a corporate environment where people are doing whatever they can do to maneuver, like they always do, where they do anywhere. It doesn't matter. All You can go work at Home Depot and, and just be, work on the floor, and it's going to be the same thing. People, wherever they're at, are going to be like trying to find a way to undermine you or manipulate you from, you know, the 18-year-old stock boy to whoever. It doesn't matter. It's all the same. So, but in a corporate environment, uh, there's more money, the stakes are higher, and people are, are I don't know, if they're more ruthless? They probably not. It just seems that way because there's more, more at stake. Um, so, and I can never understand why, you know, people spend so much time like grubbing for money and what they will do for money and just rabid it's just rabid how people are when it comes to money and then people were always like thinking that they you were ripping them off that they were paying too much for something and that they you know and inevitably you would spend I would spend all this energy getting close to the client understanding their business finding ways to help them and in the end teaching an employee how to do what I did for them, and then having the employee take over, you know, my gig with the company and and fuck up whatever I had done for them, and they never it did they didn't care, because <laughs> they'd rather have something fucked up, and cost them less than have something that actually worked for them. Highly frustrating. Um, so all my experiences with corporate world and business, and money and how people react in, in that situation were kind of like, I kind of like, at, at the time in 2002, summed it up in this painting, which is done on a piece of door. So I didn't build this it, this inset. This is like a door uh, door that I cut apart, cut in half, built a frame around it, and, and painted it. And I, I haven't touched it. And, it. and it just worked, and it's finished. And Fine Art Registry, 